With the series tied 1-1, to we break down a critical Game 3 between the Los Angeles Dodgers and San Diego Padres, where we have a money-making opportunity on a player prop. I'm Steve Seagrave from SportsMemo.com, and I have a special offer to share with you guys towards the end of the video. But for now, if you guys enjoy this content, hit the like button, subscribe to the Wager Talk channel, and let us know in the comments section who you got tonight in the MLB, whether it's a side, a total, or even a player prop. I'll be checking those comments and getting back to you guys. So we got Game 3, LA Dodgers at San Diego Padres from Petco Park. First pitch, 9.38 p.m. Eastern. Game will be featured on FS1. Padres stole home field advantage on Sunday with a 10-2 victory. And they find themselves heavily favored in this one, minus 162. We got the Dodgers at plus 136. And a total sitting at 8. Going to have two righties going toe-to-toe -to -toe in this one. Walker Bueller for the Dodgers. He's 1-6 on the year with a 5-3-8 ERA. On the other side of things, we've got Michael King. He's 13-9 on the year with a 2.95 ERA. And King is going to be the focus of this video. He looked great in that start against Atlanta. We had the uh, Padres in the money line in that game. And King was uh, lights out. Seven scoreless innings, 12 strikeouts. He looked uh, great against Atlanta. And he's been lights out at home. Since July 1st, he has a 1.75 ERA in home starts. I really considered his over five and a half strikeouts here, but I'm a little concerned about him potentially getting, even if he pitches well, getting the quick hook uh, based on the Padres bullpen situation, which we'll get into in one second. Uh, but so instead, we're going to be looking at his under hits prop here at four and a half. It's a little juicy at minus 135, but I think it's worth it. So since July 1st, not only does he have the 175 home ERA. He's only allowed 52 hits across 68 innings pitched. And uh, in his last two starts against the Dodgers, he's only allowed two hits and three hits, five combined hits in his last two starts against LA. Current Dodgers only batting 235 against King across 98 at bats. The only guy that really gets to him is Otani, which <laughs> quite frankly, he gets to everybody. Uh, it's uh, getting to the point here where, I mean, I, they did shut him down in game two. Um, but I think at some point in this series, we could see them start to walk him and just have to deal with Mookie Betts, despite him being such a dangerous hitter. Although Betts has struggled in the postseason uh, recently, especially. But uh, yeah, speaking of on Sunday, Darvish held the Dodgers to only three hits. He got out of that start in game two, only allowing three hits. And the key here is really this Padres pen is in great shape. They had yesterday off, obviously. And then on Sunday, they only needed two relievers to each pitch one inning. Neither of them was one of their um, high leverage relievers. So the Padres' pen is in great shape. If, if King gets into any sort of trouble here, I expect him to pitch well. And I do like the strikeout prop over five and a half at, at uh, plus money. However, I just like this under hits prop better. If he, he, I think he's going to pitch well. And if he gets into any sort of trouble whatsoever, the Padres aren't going to be afraid to lean on their pen. I expect both teams to do that in this game based on the current bullpen situations with the day off. And especially with the Padres, like I said, they, they didn't need to use any of their key arms on Sunday. So everyone's ready to go in, in what is a really strong bullpen uh, for the Padres. So official play for the video, we're going under four and a half hits allowed from Michael King at minus 135 over at DK. Guys, I wanted to let you know over at Sports Memo, you, pitch, you uh, purchase a 30-day all access pass you get the second 30 days for 99 dollars. it breaks down to only 563 per day uh you don't get much better over at sportsmemo.com than less than six dollars per day for an all access pass it's going to cover all sports and we're locked and loaded right now mlb and wnba playoffs we got nba and nhl starting right up right now actually this tonight i believe and and then we got nba right around the corner Obviously, NFL is king, and then we have our college football play of the week. We've cashed three of the last four of those, and uh, we also have a 5% uh, MLB max bet locked and loaded for tonight. We are on a 13-1 MLB money line run, and uh, that's what we have locked and loaded for tonight. Coming off a 2-0 night on Monday Night Football, so we'll look to keep the momentum rolling into tonight. 
There's always a link for my plays in the pinned comment. I always have free plays posted at X at Steve's Book 22. If you guys could follow me, that would be great. As well as at sportsmemo.com. If you guys enjoyed this video, hit the like button on the way out, and I'll see you tomorrow breaking down the same game. Game four will rehash what happened tonight between Dodgers and Padres. See you then.